Hello, yeah, hello, so hello. Hey, hey who is like this? A... Is this Prophet I hear? Sorry, sorry to interject. Uh, I was on a separate call, but I am now present. Hello. Hey, Prophet. Nice to, We're, nice hello. to see you. Nice to have you. We've been talking about gear and stuff mostly, so. Gear and yeah. stuff. Ooh, yeah. interesting, I... interesting. I brought up a little bit about the whole of the gray man theory stuff and why you wouldn't necessarily want to have Gucci tag in the, uh, in the, in the first stages of the apocalypse. <laughs> oh, are we, are, are we talking IRL slash, uh, event? Or yes. Is this exclusive? I mean, generally IRL. we're talking about like both. Yeah. It's, we've, okay. been, we've been talking about both of, of the, of uh, events or what we've learned from actually going to apocalypse style events compared to what we've seen in like movies oh, yeah and stuff and games. oh yeah i mean hell continue on cj yeah i, I don't want to in interrupt <laughs> <laughs> okay so, so i was going on as far as um like if you're building armor what you like both irl and both uh in the actual event, like invent of apocalypse crafting materials that you could probably work with and we were talking about yeah, I mean, being able to protect yourself from, you know, bullets and knives is great, but your probably main focus should be on protecting yourself from the elements. Because you will, you're going to die pro a lot quicker if you're too cold or too hot, and you're going to be wishing someone would just shoot you. <laughs> yeah. So In was... short, take a take a few cliff notes from Daisy. Yeah. Actually, yeah, because yeah, there is a um, you have to factor in heat and cold in that game. Man, if that game was like at all functional, I'd probably play it for this channel. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I just recently got into it after like years of watching gameplay. Oh yeah. And I realized I had it on, you know, my pleb Xbox console. <laughs> so I'm 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 running its very buggy version, but I'm Ooh. enjoying the experience thus far. Cool. Yeah, well, I it, so I'm it. it started out as an Arma mod, and as far as I'm aware, the Arma mod version is actually a better version right now than even the mm -hmm. the full release. <laughs> yeah, from what I've heard, I have Arma. Yeah, I don't so have armor. Certain, but... certain games do get it right when it's when you're like, oh man, why do I have to worry about my heat or cold gauge? It's like, yeah, because mm -hmm. if you're if you've ever been like in cold rain and you don't have the proper gear, it sucks. Oh yeah, it sucks a lot. Yeah, I've I've kind of wondered like, so speaking of games and the gear in games, um, Merchant and I have been playing Wasteland Three, and uh, the gear in there is definitely seems to be more oriented towards the looks compared to the practicality yeah but it's also more focused on the cold yeah there's, i mean there's a, there's lot, a lot of, of like, like heavy jackets yeah there's definitely more jackets and heavy gear because it's cold as hell in colorado um so it does make sense in that regard oh yeah kind of like i think of, wasteland yeah. 2 is a lot lighter weight stuff yeah, because you're in the you're in the desert, mm -hmm. or yeah, heaven forbid, California. For sure. If if I may, I think one of my uh, big things that I've always tried to to push when it comes to uh, both event and real life uh, sort of simulation style yeah. stuff is is simplicity and overall yeah. comfort. Because yeah, we we have you know it's not like we are in the wilderness constantly and in the areas that we live at through the United States, you know, we're, we're always tech technologically sort of uh, dependent when it comes to things uh, like fire, cell phone stuff, oh, yeah. entertainment, whatever it may be. And, and it's a large, a large part of my whole, I guess, gray man theory or practice is, is mainly comfort. Like I don't want to be cold. So, Okay get things that will prevent you being cold insulation yeah. quick fire stuff i've noticed and that functionality your... overall yeah i've yeah. noticed your kits tend to be a lot simpler um oh super simple yeah. super simple and hey there's 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 absolutely nothing wrong with that like it doesn't as much as i love the the mad max theatrical outfits it's hella impractical yeah 
Yeah. And I, and I think I don't, I don't know if we're going to be touching on that topic tonight or somewhere or uh, sometime else, but like there, there are so many different aspects to the whole wasteland genre and subculture. It, it's, it's, it's pretty wild. Oh, uh, totally. Yeah. And, and, a, say... and, a, and a big part of that is the big theatrical stuff. I, I absolutely love that. Yeah. We've um, been talking about I would just especially warlord in that regard. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, like Warlord's new, like Warlord's uh, scavenger kit compared to his actual war armor, it's it's night and day. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I was telling uh, uh, Merchant that I actually am thinking about doing a even low profile kit than the one I normally wear Ooh. during the summer nice. for the Omega events because. I want to be able to move quickly, deal with the environmental hazards, and not have a bunch of crap on me. And I'm probably going to run a different gun for those events, because the Thompson is heavy as hell. Yeah. <laughs> that that does tend to be a little impractical. <laughs> yeah. I love I mean, the thing. It's cool. And, it's, yeah, and it's really I'm, cool. I'm planning on... So, this goes into more guns than gear, but I am planning on... Either putting one of my G thir another G thirty six rail on there at the bottom, and then sliding a foregrip onto it, so that I have a little bit extra like you know control um, when I'm aiming down sights and stuff, or oh, getting yeah. a Romanian dong and <laughs> installing it onto the. <laughs> thompson itself <laughs> which actually warlord was the one who uh yeah. <laughs> gave me that idea now so. i'm i'm unfamiliar with the what's it called romanian what now it's a romanian, romanian gong. gong it's a okay so it's an ak um foregrip that's like okay. reverse um i'll have to ah. find one yeah i think I, a, I think uh... i know what you're talking about is it all wood yes yeah it's all wood Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I think I'm familiar with that now. Uh yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting to see on Thompson though. That's that's yeah, pretty Yeah, I I mean it's going to be absolute heresy regardless because the game, the <laughs> the gun is already pretty heretical right now because of all the rails and like the scope and all that other stuff that I put on it. Yeah. Um, so I mean I don't know. I you know, the 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 rifle like hmm I guess it's uh, to me it would be preference. I love my pistols when it oh, comes yeah. to an event, and I mean, it, yeah. hell, even in even in like real life, if it if it were you know grid down, of course, I think everyone would try to go with the basic, you know, sort of okay, get yourself a little bit of a melee weapon that can double as a tool, yeah, uh, a rifle and some sort of pistol or a shotgun and some sort of pistol, but pistol t to me is always a necessity when it comes to that and, and especially with the events i tend to run definitely more light kit and yeah. <laughs> it's not for the reason of of oh my goodness let me be more you know quick quick with the draw sort of deal yeah uh i'm i'm not a i'm not a very skinny individual <laughs> so I, I do like to make the kits as light as possible and i figure a pistol even though it's a hassle uh, for some for some things over something like an AEG, yeah, uh, tends to be more my route at least. But but with with the, the with both events we go to, well, Rev Furl and Omega, you can get away with, and you would be perfectly fine with just pistols. Yeah, you yeah. don't need a super big gun. You can just run pistols. Like yeah. I when I first started, I was running a uh, a spring one shot shotgun broke in the hey, middle of a work. huge firefight um that, that <laughs> oh boy fight, yeah it was a firefight yeah the battle of sanctuary was crazy um God. topics That's for scary. another day though i'd say um oh yeah oh yeah so after that but, i yeah. ran i ran what is now my uh mp set or mp5 that i was then borrowing from merchant um, and then I got my G36, and I started using that for a good long time. Got a shot, got a new couple new shotguns along the way. Decided basically to only use the shotguns for like 
any Forgiven. night games I'm going to or any zombie games because it's just more practical for those. Um, yeah, it's more kind of in the vibe of like, oh, I'm in a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. I go to the shoddy. And large crowds <laughs> of people running at you and stuff like that. I mean, hell, they're just they're just reliable. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, have an old, I have an old beat up shotgun. That's probably one thing you'd see a lot of in the apocalypse is the shotguns are for the U.S. specifically. Is there's probably there's like so many shotguns floating around, and you probably see some Rain Remingtons. Too. Yeah, I, <laughs> I I would think even like areas. I I know that uh, when it comes to like the UK and those places, the the gun laws are extremely restrictive. However, I think a uh, I think you can use like a double barreled shotgun for or like a like a, a maybe a muzzle loading rifle for yeah. some hunting and sports shooting over yeah. there. And I know, I know, shotguns would definitely be prevalent uh, in different parts of the world. It's just the classic. It, I mean, it's a shotgun, dude. You know, yeah. like it's yeah. it's not it's not exclusively American. It's not exclusively any any region. But that is, you know, a kind of a staple for apocalypse setting. Yeah. Is a nice yeah. shotgun. <laughs> yeah, 